Hi, I'm Ron. And I'm Don. And I'm Tracy. And RIFMA proudly presents The Ron and Don Show. Hi, I'm Ron. And I'm Don. And this is The Ron and Don Show. Thank you for joining us today. Our topic today is project management. Project management is really something that co covers a broad spectrum of how we as facilities managers do our work. It can be as just covering lots and lots and lots of small projects, trying to keep all those balls in the air for all those projects and all the little details that are necessary. In tracking those smaller projects, when I first started in the business, I used a yellow pad and a calendar, <laughs> eventually graduated to a, a, a spreadsheet. In those days it was, uh, was it Oracle, I think it was, or then it was Excel, or it doesn't much matter. And as a matter of fact, the example of that is you're looking at right now, one of my old spreadsheets. And it had lots of columns for things like landlord and, and permits and all that kind of stuff so that I could keep track of where each one of those individual projects was at and could report back to operations because I wasn't able to keep it all in my head. So those days have passed, but not totally. Well, and usually with larger projects, they are quote unquote larger because they involve a more critical deadline and usually more critical deadlines, plural. Uh, and what that means is that larger projects generally need a more robust system of being managed. I think to all projects, regardless of scope and size, uh, a material specification list and quantities are just, they're, they're the basics of everything that's needed. What happens is if you do some remodels, as I did in my career, or some you know more intense uh, work that uh, is not large in scope, but takes a lot of details, a project management program might work. And in the 90s, I guess it was, Microsoft came out with something that was very popular then, which was a Microsoft project. There are lots of other project management uh, tools out there right now. And Wired Magazine does a really nice ma uh, uh, website on rating all kinds of stuff. And there's, you can get lots of good information. You may find uh, other places where you can get uh, project management uh, software, but they all require the same things. You've got to put in the specifications of what's going to happen, when, what's the deadline, with reminders, and all kinds of other things have to happen within that and that you have to pay attention to. Kind of a crit critical path of timelines, expectations, permits, landlord approvals, and most importantly, probably or equally importantly, are the trades. You know, you've got timelines for trades and you've got timelines for potential trade conflicts. There's, there's a lot that goes into project management. And in that whole thing, you have to put in there when you're going to have your pre-construction meeting because you're going to have operations involved and the timing for, you know, the alarm system has to be uh, set, shut off maybe for some of the work. You need to put in there for how the construction company is going to communicate both with operations and you and how you're going to communicate back with operations and upper management on, on it. Uh, your finance people may also have some interest on cash flow. So there's a lot of things that may be included within uh, your project management scope. You know, this is a great basic list. We've got lead times, we've got workflow, we've got timelines. These are the things we're talking about. And this is, again, where a robust system is really needed the more complex the project is. One of the things you need to understand is operations are not going to go into your project management system if it's on the cloud. They just aren't. So you need to set up a, a way to communicate with them what the, you've given them the timelines, what the changes are and what the status is on a regular basis. And probably ought to do that in a way that could be memorialized. Email is probably the best tool on that because you can prove that yes, you have sent it to them when they say, oh, we haven't seen it. They have a very busy life. They're running a restaurant. 
they may not have seen it, but it probably hit their inbox. So expect them not to be part of, part of the communication through your project management system. Purchasing vendors, uh, construction uh, companies, architects, engineers, designers, they all should be in that group that can look at it on the cloud and can interact and say where things are. You want to know if the, that booth package has been delayed two weeks because you don't want to rip up the walls and put in the new walls and have the old booths out in the dumpster and not have booths for two weeks. <laughs> I'm Ron. And I'm Don. This is the Ron and Don Show presented by RIFMA. Thank you for viewing.